I actually played, played the Niners to score a touchdown uh, in the third quarter at Superbook. It was a uh, minus 105 is where I got these props, prop lists. Like, I think if you get the opportunity where the Niners win the toss and they defer like you know they're going to, and they get the ball coming out at halftime, like, I think they can put together a drive and score. And I think regardless of whether they get the ball to start the third quarter or not, uh, we've seen the Niners' offense be much better uh, in the playoffs in the second half and the third quarter. So uh, I think the Niners to score a third quarter touchdown is a good bet. And I think the Niners to have – more possession of the ball. Uh, minus 115 was the Niners to lead in time of possession. That was actually at DraftKings. Like, I can see the Niners using a very run-heavy offense, a very short pass to McCaffrey kind of offense, uh, an offense to Kittle. Like, I can see the Niners really working a lot of clock to keep Mahomes and play a little complimentary football and keep that offense off the field. So Niners to have the better time of possession was a, a wager that I thought was uh, kind of intriguing. Jeff, am I crazy? You're not crazy because outside of the quarterbacks, we talk a lot about, I think the most important player in this game is Christian McCaffrey. Look at what the Niners have done with him and without him for Kyle Shannon. It's not even close. They, they score more points. They win almost all their games. They rush for more yards. If you want to put the graphic here for, for McCaffrey. So like he's such an important part of what the Niners are because it's their identity is they want to run the football, obviously. They want to be able to control the clock. They want to make sure Brock Purdy has easier lanes to pass the football. I know everyone's going to be on the McCaffrey props. Like the public's going to love the over and the rush attempts, the over in rush yards. I haven't touched these guys because I think Kansas City will focus obviously on trying to stop the run, especially because they know how important McCaffrey is. But I haven't touched. Are, are you guys on McCaffrey rush? props in this game? I feel like that's a very public Well, I, I thought about maybe the combined rushing and receiving. It was 129 and a half, but you're right. It seems a little high, and it seems a, a, a little kind of PD public, so uh, I stayed away. Sammy, Will, did you guys touch anything McCaffrey-related? PD public, that's a new one. I hadn't heard that one. I didn't <laughs> play that one. I did play some rushing props on 249ers. I like Purdy. There's some 12 and a half. There's some 13 and a half. I think he's going to run a little bit. We saw him use his legs that last drive against the Packers uh, in big spots, and he ran a lot against Detroit. Again, with these rushing props for the quarterbacks, you got to figure who you like to win in the game and factor that in a little bit because kneel downs do count against you, and they, there's small margins here. But uh, 12 and a half, 13 and a half, I like Purdy over. I think he's going to run a little bit. Uh, and Debo Samuel, again, that you can shop around 14 and a half, 15 and a half. I, I see it. Some books, uh, you got two weeks for that shoulder to heal. He's a big part of that offense. He didn't run a lot against Detroit, but I, I think they're going to have to get Debo involved, especially in the running game. So 15 and a half, 14 and a half, that's a little light. I think Debo is going to be a big part of the running game. And uh, I don't know if this falls more into the, uh, you know, the overall game and, and talking about the game, but there are some books that have Debo 30 to one to win Super Bowl MVP. I think he could have a big game. He's got a thousand career rushing yards, 19 career rushing touchdowns. You need production that's detached from the quarterback. If Debo has a big game, uh, if we're talking, if we're looking for a sleeper, a non quarterback to win this award, I think Debo's got a shot to steal this award bear. I, I have not done bear anything McCaffrey related. I will. I will have a quick crack, though. One of our editors that I love to death said, hey, who do you like for Super Bowl MVP? I got the message yesterday. And I said, me and Will already gave you McCaffrey and Purdy two weeks ago. Like, <laughs> you want another MVP, Matt? Like, I can't, you know, who do you like now is, is different than who we liked two weeks ago. And I think, Will, you had something like six to one on Purdy and I had 850 on McCaffrey. Those are super live in this game. But my favorite Niners prop, and it's the first bet I made – this is going to sound super squirrely, but hang with me. Kyle Juszczyk, yep. over two and a half receiving yards. It's now three and a half. I would still play Love over it. three and a half. He's either going to have none or he's going to have 10. Like he's going to get this on one catch. In the last three games, he played Kansas City. Four targets, four targets, three targets. So 11 targets in three games. And what Shanahan's been able to do is use Kansas City secondary – that plays very physical, very droppy, and Kansas City's pass rush, which is very good with Karloftis and Jones, he uses that against them with the fullback flair. And if Purdy can make a man miss, there's Juszczyk, five, six yards in the open, literally wide open, and he can catch the ball. This isn't a guy that has stone hands. He can catch the ball. He's had, in those three games, 34 yards, 39 yards, 38 yards. He's not only getting this number, he is He's flying like over this number. As long as he gets three targets or four targets, he's going to catch one ball, and it's not going to be for one or two or three yards. It'll be for five or more. 
Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.